Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Quality versus quantity. Which is more important? Can you have one without the other? First, let's examine the difference between them. Quality is a measure of excellence or of a state of being. It describes something, either how it was made or how it is compared to others. Quantity, on the other hand, is the extent, size, or sum of something. It is countable or measurable and can be expressed as a numerical value. Quality over quantity essentially means choosing things of high standard matters over the amount or number of things that you have. The questions again are, which is more important, and can you have one without the other? You absolutely can have one without the other, but most of the time, quantity without quality will not yield fruitful, lasting, consistent, or long-term results. I say, choose quality. In last week's episode, titled Direction or Speed, I talked about how it is just as important that you do something well as it is that you do it quickly. Well, the same is true of quality and quantity. Excellence is just as important, if not more important, than a large number of something. When you buy your favorite candy or snack in bulk, you still expect the quality, the taste, the texture, the flavor to be there, even though you are buying more of it, right? Think about quality control issues as a consumer. I remember buying jeans from my daughter at a high-end store and finding several pair of the same size that were different lengths. When I brought it to the salesperson's attention, it was dismissed as an isolated incident. However, when I returned to shop at the same store, I found many more quote-unquote isolated incidents like that. So I called the corporate office to complain and was told that their jeans were being produced in different countries, so quality control had become an issue. They lost me as a customer, and probably many others, because the company clearly cared more about quantity and their profit margin more than quality control. I read somewhere that businesses that focus on quality over quantity find the following benefits. Sustainability, productivity, sales and profits, satisfied customers, and business success. Because you reap what you sow, there's a scripture that says, Whatever a man sows, that is what he will reap. If you place an emphasis on quality, quality service, quality products, you will reap happy and repeat customers and profitability. I have three kids, and any parent of multiple children knows the struggle to provide quality and quantity time with your kids. However, if you're with your kids, but you're looking at your phone or your TV the whole time, your kids will feel neglected no matter how many hours you spent in the same room with them. Kids want you to focus on them with undivided attention. They want you to see them, hear them, and respond accordingly. In other words, they want quality or meaningful time with you. Now, if you manage to provide both quality and quantity time with your kids, good for you. I say, if you have to make a choice, choose meaningful over the number of hours. The same is true of other relationships like friendships. As I have grown older, I find the quality of my friendships, those that are characterized by loyalty, trustworthiness, people of good character, to be far more important to me than having a large number of people I call friend. There's a quote, there's a huge difference between having a certain number of friends and having a number of friends you can be certain of. We live in a social media dominant culture where popularity and impact are often measured by the number of followers, friends, likes, and comments your page and posts receive. Quantity is definitely the goal and the reward. Interestingly enough, I find some of the most inspiring and impactful posts 
come from people who don't necessarily have a large following or number of likes because real life is not a popularity contest and large numbers don't necessarily mean positive or meaningful impact. There's a quote, the ego wants quantity, but the soul wants quality. There's an African proverb that says, the depth of a person's life is more important than the length. How you fill up the space of your life between your birth date and your death date, what some call the dash, matters. The quality of your life will be the only thing that you're thinking about at the end of your life. I guarantee you will not wish on your deathbed that you had worked more physical hours on your job. If you're thinking about your job at all, you'll be more concerned with did you do a good job? Did you make a difference? Did you positively influence anyone or anything? Again, I say quality over quantity. Of course, it is possible and sometimes necessary to have both. Just make sure you're clear on the difference between the two and that the life choices you make concerning both of them are something you can have peace with at the end of your life. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.